Hello my friends, this is a short video about replacing a laser unit on Cambridge Audio A0640 Say, Rather than buying a $10 unit from eBay, I bought a $40 unit from Wes Components in Melbourne, I think, by our local agent Westick in, in uh, Perth. Um, a few things you need to know about replacing lasers. They're static sensitive, so you have to wear a wrist strap that's connected to the mat, which is earth, and that goes over to main earth. That's one thing. Second thing is that uh, they all, most of the time, come with a short to protect the laser. And that short, in this case, is, is there on the, on the unit. Sometimes it's on the ribbon cable, sometimes it's on the board. Most of them have it. Um, next thing is um, turntable heights. Normally turntable height is set well and it was also the case in this situation and you can see if you have a laser cover that should pretty much be spot on there. Okay. Now we can also compare it with the other one. The other one still shows that it works and mine was. It was just intermittent. So having done all that, uh, normally the power is as well, but you have to double check it and you have to, for that, you have to have a proper meter with calibrated probe. If you put too much power, you'll shorten the life of the laser. Not enough, it won't play. So that's about it, how to do it. I've done it and uh, now you will see the result. And the result is, the result is no go. It uh, will spin the disc. Um, Spin the disc, it tells you that the, the actual laser does work, because otherwise um, it would just say no disc. It will say in a moment, no play. So basically, even if you buy a genuine Sanyo SFP101N, well, sometimes they just don't work. And now the reason I'm making this video is so that I can uh, send it to the supplier, so they know that I know what I'm doing and I haven't just ruined the laser and now want my money back. Thank you very much.